Welcome back guys to Mass Effect 3! With missions gained through Rex and Victus, we end up with a hell of a lot of side quests to complete here. However, Theron sent us down here last episode, we ended up viewing the Shadow Broker terminal, but Glyph didn't give us any extra information, so I'm wondering if Liara might have that information. A Prothean. A living, breathing Prothean right below me. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But a Prothean, Shepard? There's so much he could tell us. I'd really rely on if he wants to. Well, it seems that Ferrum message... Well, Cliff finally talked to us, but it was nothing about anything, it seems. What else is going on on this floor? We should probably check out before heading on. Nothing going on at all. There's lots of these rooms that we haven't really checked out much. Crew quarters, women's restroom, which we can actually go in. Has there ever actually been anything in there? It's a very small wet restroom. A couple of toilets and... Well, only two, in fact. More showers than toilets. Random. You'd expect there to be somewhat... An, you know, an okay amount. Uh, uh, at least free and free. I can't imagine anything so traumatic. You sure you're okay, Karen? I wouldn't wish a collector abduction on my worst enemy. But it's behind me now. I'm fine. But it makes me think of Earth and all the other Reaper-occupied worlds. What are the Reapers doing to the people who live on all those worlds? As we sit here, enjoying our coffee. How many souls are in agony this very moment? Millions? Billions? Oh, Greg. I lied. I'm not fine. Check West, really, what's up? Everything okay in the med bay? Yes. Morden would just like some space to work with Eve. He kicked you out? Oh no. I just felt I was getting in his way. I'll return when I'm needed. I want to talk more about the fact that you don't feel very great at the moment. Hello, Commander. Commander. No one really wants Hello, to talk. Commander. But it's true, while we move around and just check out the general scope of the ship. People are dying. Not a very nice way to look at things. Including this room makes you remember someone who's dying, in fact. Anyway, let's head back out in the galaxy. Let's stop getting depressed about things and move on. Let's find ourselves a mission to do because we have a million missions. In fact, at the moment, we don't have a priority one, so that's interesting in itself. We just gained ourselves an N7 mission, though. So maybe we check that out next. Let's leave Sir Kesh. Couldn't find ourselves any anomalies in this system. We've actually reached the 100,000 credits point again, so that's great. Let's see if any new systems have popped up in the meantime. It does seem that way. Krogan DMC is there. Horsehead Nebula. Gemini Sigma, I think. Was that new one or not? Exus Cluster, we got Horsehead Nebula. Well, to me, it looks like new ones have. Let's just check them all again. Make sure none of them are anything that we remember. Strike Abyssal. Any other ones more central that we can barely see? Investigate missing scouts over here. What kind of scouts were those? Maybe the fact that not many missions were appearing on the galactic map was because of the fact that, well, the systems that are supposed to contain the side quests haven't popped up. So what's going on here? Listening post X-19. Listening post X-19 was built shortly after the Rachni War, so we're heading towards Rex's people, it seems. Let's find out exactly where, though. We can leave this system. Are there Reapers in the area? Let's find out what direction they're in. Everywhere around. Not good, of course. Don't know if the Reapers were coming there or not, but investigate missing scouts is this way. Didn't find a single anomaly there, but, you know, that happens, I guess. From time to time, we're going to miss stuff. We just have to keep coming back. No Reapers in this system, however.
Doesn't seem like any items either. It's weird enough, but let's head down to Otuku for a new mission. Let's go. It's more fun to deal with more Krogan after all. Let's take Garrus once again, and uh, we could take Javik, I guess, or Liara. I feel really comfortable taking Garrus and Liara, mainly because they're old crewmates, and I know that dialogue options, if we meet any more old crewmates, are going to be generally good versus the new ones, so I really like taking them. Plus, I don't want to spend forever leveling up yet again. We'll take some others soon. Of course, did we gain ourselves? We did gain ourselves a new sniper rifle. What one is it? The M13 Raptor. Its fire rate's really high, its damage is really, really low. We'll stick with the Mantis. Mantis works for us, don't you think? Got ourselves a new pistol, though. Was that the pistol that fires some kind of gel stuff? Originally used to this, uh, issued to the Solarian SCG to allow small units to contain much larger enemy forces. The Scorpion pistol now sees service galaxy-wise. It fires low-velocity squash head projectiles with a dual use. The high explosive filler within the projectiles contains an adhesive, secures the projectile to the target on impact. When fired into a surface, it turns into a proximity mine. Doesn't sound much like a pistol, does it? Mind you, it's really, really heavy. We'll stick with just a normal sidearm for now. Got four more points here, we may as well upgrade something. It's funny how I'm just dodging cryo ammo completely for disruptor ammo, but I really do love breaking shields. We have sabotage ourselves, sabotage weapons and hacks. Synthetics could be interesting, but it's always like you can only have two missions on unless you use a power wheel, or two powers on unless you use a power wheel. Let's upgrade our grenades some more. The other guys have two points, which means they're, well, okay. Liara might be able to get some stasis points, but I think we'll just save some for later. Please insert this too, we'll do that once. Any updates, Shepard? Our backup's waiting for us at the drop point. Arlac Company, Krogan Commandos. That's correct, Shepard. They are an accomplished unit. Their decisive action in liberating a colony from Batarian pirates made them famous. Good to hear. Other than that, there's been no word from a team of Krogan scouts since they went through the Rachni Relay. I don't like the sound of this. The Krogan would have come prepared to fight. We don't know much, but no Rachni activity has been reported. It doesn't make sense. We let that last Rachni queen live on the condition she disappear forever. She wouldn't risk everything to start a war. Just be ready for anything. Yeah, shuttle just arrived. You better get moving, Team 2. See anything, let me know. Grunt? Shepard? <laughs> Shepard! <laughs> what are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Didn't those idiots lock you up? They did. Put me in lockdown to keep the Batarians off me. Didn't want problems with the Council while they prepared for war. But the situation changed. Yeah, they got bigger problems, all right. That's why I'm out here running Arlac Company. They're tough, think they're invincible. Reckless, but effective. Sounds familiar, Grunt. How'd you go from being new and unproven to your own command? Heh, <laughs> wasn't easy. When Rex put Arlac Company together, he needed a leader who represented the future of our species. Thanks to you, I completed my rite of passage on Tachanka and became part of Clan Erdnot. I was an equal. And being the strongest, I was chosen to lead this honored company. I bet some didn't like a tank bread Krogan being in charge. I collected a few scars earning my place here. These Krogan respect me. You were a pain in the ass, Grunt. But if your Krogan are half the soldier you are, we might make it out of here. Hey, <laughs> glad you're here to crack some heads, Shepard. Hard to believe this might be Rachni. Seems crazy. The Rachni. A chance to face the old enemy? <laughs> Impossible to resist. We don't know if the Rachni had anything to do with this. We're here to find the scouts. I didn't see any signs of activity during our approach. Agreed. But this place smells wrong. Like a bad wound. Our scans show the tunnels down there lead to a large central point. If we're lucky, it's a nest. Sounds like fun. 
Just like old times, Grunt. <laughs> Our luck, company! Move out! Grab what you need, Shepard. Meet me at the scout camp ahead. Sounds good. Take what you need and move out. Yep, more reunions! And it's exactly what we need. Why we need to take these guys quite a lot of the time. Old members that have camaraderie from before. Always the best thing, right? Now, armor piercing ammo, get the warp ammo on, we're ready. Rachni, they say. Well, we'll see what we can grab, first of all. Obviously, that means there's some kind of upgrades or some such around here. Spare parts for salvage. Credits are always welcome. Anything we can get. Including a Claymore shotgun? Well, that's pretty nice to load out there. Anyway, Garrus. Let's get you a assault rifle, Dad. I always forget to switch you. Which means we actually need to update your armor piercing ammo yet again. Alright, then what else is around here? Anything useful? No, doesn't look like it. Let's go explore. There's no enemies. Little guy's all grown up. Glad he's here. Oh, you feel paternal towards him. I feel that too. Well, I guess in my case it would be maternal. But paternal I would go with considering my actual gender. Weapon bench to use. SMG high caliber barrel. Oh, lovely. We don't need to use a weapon bench right now. We're fine with that. Can't actually exit through that doorway. Ready, Shepard. We're right behind you. I was hoping these Krogans would actually have a chat here. Find tunnel entrance. You ready to go? What did you do after the Collectors were defeated? <sighs> I spent most of my time back on Tachanka learning what it was to be Krogan. In the lab where I was created, the lessons were like fighting with practice weapons. They had no bite, no impact. I needed the blood and pain. I made mistakes, but I learned. So basically you've made yourself a better soldier. Tell me more about this company. Arlac means Eye of Wrath. We are named after the fierce Tichanka son. Rex handpicked us from different clans to show a united Krogan. We were sent because we're the strongest. Did Warlord Okir imprint anything on you about the Rachni during your creation? Okir ensured I knew of the Rachni. They are respected as an enemy. Everyone thought they were dead, defeated by the Krogan. You prove that wrong. If they're here, my blood demands they die. What happened to the scouting party? Looks like something dropped half their camp down a hole. Their shuttle must have been lost as well. They weren't going anywhere. Doesn't matter. We're here to find the Rachni and burn them out. All right, let's get going. Finally. Right behind you, Shepard. Let's get doing this. Are you actually going to follow me? That would be amazing. Too bad we can't have him in the party specifically. Great to have Krogans around, right? We've got Krogans over there as well. So everything's all good and checked out. Everyone all right? Shepard! You in one piece? Looks like we're all okay. Keep in radio contact. On our way. Not so good. Stupid scare. Got me quite good though. I really didn't think that was happening even though the whole thing was tilted in the first place. Let's see if we can find ourselves. I see it. Not an enemy, but a Krogan. Grunt, got a body of a scout here. Been dead a few days. Yeah. If he has his weapon, grab it. You won't need it anymore. No problem with that, and I seem to have gained myself some kind of flamethrower. Good for webbing, I guess. Looks like it. Control burst, we can take him down no problem. Flamethrowers for days, come on! And torches as well. Okay, we got more pods over here. This darkness is going to make it a little harder, Shepard. Agreed. Everybody be ready. I have you with me, Garrus. I'm fine. 
Hope they're not impervious to fire or anything, though. Anybody catch that? I said. I didn't. I do not like that I didn't. What? Oh, careful where you step. I don't know. Soon we got being caught between two conversations there. Seems this pod can be burned out. Oh no, it does. Right. No pods in our way anymore. That's good. First fire to keep this flamethrower going as long as possible. Don't know if we need the flamethrower to get rid of all the web webbing or we can just attack it. Better safe than sorry and keeping it with us. Ramp way to go. More spore pods. Loads of them in fact. Reaper tech. Maybe. Could be. Make sure mostly though these pods don't go killing me. We're picking up all their weapons then. Never flamethrower is good by me. Seems the scout party mainly just came with flamethrowers to their names. Anything over there? No, didn't look like it. We can't even drop down. So I guess we don't really have to save the power or the fuel on our webbing that much on our flamethrower. Things are confusing me. Yes, we got company. Um, I want snipers for this. So are they what the Reaper one is? My weapon power gone. No, it's still there. It should be, of course. Be always using that though. I'm not gonna get me, sir. Seems I'm collecting husks to beat down the moment. Where's our last enemy here? There's definitely one around. Grunt, rack that presence confirmed. Modified and very dangerous. Finally, something to kill. Nothing here yet. Lost a Krogan to a sinkhole. Bad way to go. Seems like something's going on. It's nice though that the Reapers managed to take such a fearsome foe from before and repurpose them to be even worse. Nothing up over here, so it looks like we're climbing up to where the pods are. Oh, I don't need to blow up on these things, that's for sure. If that's what they do, we don't know. They are explodey, so we assume... Better safe than sorry, isn't it? Is there something targetable up there? Ah, the webbing over there. Look at this. No question. Agreed. Let's find out why. Harris always the noticing guy. Bye bye pods. Not got much range on this flamethrower, that's for sure. Copy that. How are we getting by this? From around the other way, I'd imagine. Hey, what's this then? This looks important. Telling me. Uh, 
that burning did. it works. Like we're finding another way out of here. Come on! What was that noise, Shepard? Sounded bad. Kaven, we're all right. Good. Didn't want to dig you out. Now that hurts my feelings, Grunt. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want you to be digging me out. What if that? I got hit by something, that's for sure. Shepard, I know what happened to the scouts. What'd you find? They got hit hard. The leader ordered them to carry weapons deep into the caves. He knew the next team would need help. They died making sure we could make it to the central chamber. Come on. Really? So that's why all the flamethrowers are around then? Not waste them that much, then, even though some of them will not die. Get these pods out of the way. A lot of the webbing I'm burning is completely useless. There was two ways round. I was wondering if there's only one. I end up going both ways. Check if there's any upgrades or anything like this, for example. Kill whatever these beasties are, guys. I don't want to get hit. Looks like there's something in there, but not anything at all. Okay. Don't worry, he's burning. It's fine. Let's move the singularity, though. We, we do appreciate such things. We got rid of all those pods, went to the side, nothing over here. Ah! Looks like a last message. He's asked that it be delivered to an Asari named Araba on the Citadel. Oh no, please don't. Please don't be the poet, Krogan. I got hit by the pod there. Nothing hidden away back here, though. Burning our way through all the webbing, but... Ah, another one. Great. Just we were running out of ammo. Thank you, sir. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. I promise. Another hall. Expect trouble. Yes, you could only expect trouble in hallways. <clears throat> Strategic cover. Trouble's coming. How are they getting them in? Come on then, guys. So that node puts barriers on them? Whatever's hitting me from a way off is killing me very easily. Which means I need to use weapons that could do the same. That needs to go. Here we got cannibals. No husks for me, sorry. Uh, my night went everywhere there. Make sure that husk doesn't get anywhere near someone. I need to hit that guy. However, he is caking me with damage. Where is it now? Okay, still there. And down. Dead. Keep the pressure up. Thanks for lifting you up there, Liara. I did order her to do that, but still. It's a good move. Where's the next enemy to face? Where's the next challenge? Those things hurt. Oh man, they put a lot of damage on me very, very fast. What else is Stay going low. on? Ah! Get a beat on you. Yeah, we did manage to kill it straight out the bat there. But there seems to be something that's handing barriers to them. There we go. We need to get rid of that. Oh, I missed. I've got to hit the structure itself, not the powery shiny bit. I 
Make sure that's got rid of. Anything in these holes that they spawn? Some heavy fighting. Tough bastards. Casualties? It's fine. Krogan fight better angry. It's fine to have casualties because you fight better angry. Well, that's a very odd way to look at things. Hoping we can explode ma mm, a lot of them at one time, really, just in case there's some kind of upgrade. Like hidden in the corner? It doesn't look like there is. Over there, however. Poor Krogan. we got to look for Krogans, really. I don't want to be going anywhere near those things without my flamethrower. Very irritating to have to fight a battle anywhere near them, that's for sure. Liara, watch out. Something spawn in that then? Okay, some stuff comes out of them. They don't just explode and do damage in that way. Oh, come on, I didn't do. Oh, no, there we go. At least clear myself a walking place. The Ara, what are you doing? If you keep just walking through the eggs. Watch Definitely the fine. I'm watching the bugs. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about me. Worry more about yourself. Flame throw them is a bit hard though. Small blighters. We have to get a direct hit. Or nothing comes to pass. Even more eggs lie ahead. Another Krogan is that ahead? Well, I'm going to end it here for this episode, guys. We're deep, deep inside this planet with Grunt helping us out. I'm guessing he might still be up in the surface. I don't know. I guess he mentioned being in the caves. Hopefully he supports us soon because this is not nice territory. Who would have thought that the Reapers would start to change the Rachni into even more deadly creatures? Not what I wanted. They were bad enough anyway. Join me for more Mass Effect 3 next episode. Bye-bye.